Why do I look like a chipmunk? So, today I have a story time. I don't have an intro. If I did, I would have said it, but I don't have one. And there's, listen, I don't have like a proper light, so there's like a circle. Ignore that, pretend it's not there. So today I'm gonna be telling a story time cause I'm a professional YouTuber, vlogger, beauty guru, DIYer, ASM artist. Today I'm gonna be telling a story time about the first time I uh, tried the devil's lettuce, marijuana, weed. All of that good stuff. I should have like made a script or something. I made a script because I'm a professional YouTuber, vlogger, DIYer, ASM artist. Basically, this is how it went down. So, I was hanging out with my two friends. This was in 10th grade. I wasn't going to school at the time because you know I'm a dropout. Like if you ask anyone, they'll say I'm a dropout. But anyways, so basically I wasn't at school at the time, but we wanted to hang out. So we were hanging out, you know, fine, whatever. I mean, we wanted to do something like fun, but I was on meds, so we couldn't like drink or anything like that, you know, like get tipsy. <laughs> whatever so we wanted to do something so i was like i want to try weed because i was 15 everyone at school was doing it they were always talking about it everyone was always posting about it like <laughs> just smoked a fat one with the bestie <laughs> so like you know obviously i wanted to like see what it was like see if it was worth it and like i trusted my friends and they had done it before so i trusted them so we hit up this guy <laughs> We hit up this guy and we were like, um, I'm pretty sure we made him bike over to my friend's house and we paid him and then he biked away, like he gave it to us, whatever. It was like midnight or one or whatever in the morning. So, um, we had the stuff, we had the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? And we didn't have supplies whatsoever. We had no supplies. I literally YouTube searched like, how to make a homemade bong or like whatever and it you know gave the little water bottle thing he had nothing okay so friend literally took a kitchen knife got the weed went on the counter and just cut it up like just cut it with <laughs> with the kitchen knife and <laughs> we cleaned up and then we were making the little water the little water bottle bong thing and it was so stupid. I thought we were doing it wrong the whole time, but like, it was okay, whatever, we made it. It was just two of my friends, right? So we were at her house, her parents were asleep. We had to be like super quiet and I was so scared. I was also really so excited. We took it and we didn't even know how to light it. For some reason, I don't understand. We weren't doing it right. We literally weren't doing it right. But we finally got it using a, not a regular lighter, but like a giant, clicky big one it was so stupid and this little water bottle with foil at the like ugh. so cheap so cheap we took turns they lit it for me i lit it for them like whatever it was like chilled i guess also it was cold outside so the garage was like freezing we had to be super quiet but i was laughing because it was so funny so then we went back inside you know it was okay everything was fine like we turned the lights off we went to the living room where we were gonna sleep and we were gonna like, you know, chill, watch a movie. <laughs> I get inside and I'm like, okay, it's fine, right? Like, I don't, uh, I don't feel anything yet, but you know, like it should come, it should be coming. So I walk into the living room. I sit down on the chair and all of a sudden the room just like, it just collapses. It's like I looked and then my vision looked like I, Oh my god, everything was moving so fast yet so slow and like every touch I could feel every single fiber on my jacket I could feel and I was like what I just remember being like what guys like what and my friend started freaking out because She said that we were being too loud, but we literally weren't she was like will you guys shut up You need to shut up. You're being so loud and me and my friend were just like we're literally not being loud like are you are you good like we're not being loud whatsoever i'm like confused i'm like why is this happening i feel like i'm in a completely different world after a while i start kind of 
getting really freaked out, to be honest. And I was like, I, I want to go outside, you know, I need to get some fresh air. Because everything was spinning, everything was moving with me, I could feel everything, I felt like I was in like a different world. So me and my friends went outside in the snow, and I was like, is this gonna make me feel better? Uh, is, is this is this how it's supposed to feel? Like, do, do you feel this too? Is, is this okay? They were like, yeah, Victoria, it's gonna be okay. Like, it's gonna be okay, just don't worry. <laughs> Meanwhile, my friend went back inside and she came back out and she was like, did you hear my mom? I swear my mom said my name. I think she's coming downstairs, blah, blah, blah. And we were like, she didn't say your name. Like, be quiet, it's fine. Nothing's happening, just go back inside, please. Okay, after a while, we went back inside. And I lay on the couch. I think we started a movie at that point and I really needed to calm down. So I was playing piano tiles. I felt like that was gonna ground me, you know, like make me remember like, it's fine. I'm here, I'm on my phone, I'm playing a game, like everything's fine. I am spinning. I'm spinning. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I felt like I was just spinning out of control. Everything was just spinning and spinning and spinning. The whole room was like, whoo, you know? And I really felt like I was on acid. Like this is how I imagined acid to feel like. I wasn't seeing anything. It was just everything I was feeling was so intense. And I was really freaking out. And I went to sit on the floor. I was like this, excuse my pajamas. But I was like this and I was like shaking. I started singing a song and shaking. I was shaking so much. And my friend was like, Victoria, it's gonna be okay. And she like touched me and I was like, don't touch me. Because like when someone else touched me, I could feel everything. Like I said, I could feel everything. I was like, don't touch me. Please just get off of me. Get off of me, please. And I was like begging her. So <laughs> she was on FaceTime with her boyfriend. And he was like, it's gonna be okay, Victoria. Like, it's just your first time, you know? It's gonna be fine, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. My friends really thought I was freaking out and they thought I was gonna start crying. They thought that they were gonna have to tell her mom and take me to the hospital because everything was just too much for me. I don't know, I don't know. Like, it was just not, it felt like it wasn't supposed to be like that. Like, it was supposed to be way more subtle way more chill and it just wasn't doing that. So I went back on the couch and I was like, I don't know what I need to do. I need to try to go to sleep or something. So I close my eyes and the room is just spinning and spinning. And I'm like, guys, I'm gonna throw up right now. I'm really gonna throw up right this second. And they were like, Victoria, you're not gonna throw up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I literally am gonna throw up right now on your couch. And she was like, you're not gonna throw up. Like, it's gonna be fine, go to sleep, you know? And I was like, whatever, like when I throw up, you know, it'll be your fault. But I didn't throw up, so it was fine. Like, th that's like my fear. My one true fear is throwing up. So I was like, extra scared. They got me like a glass of water. I tried to swallow the water, but it was just spinning and it was not okay, you know? I fell asleep and I woke up and I didn't even really know that I fell asleep, but I woke up and I was like, okay, like it's okay. Things are okay. And then suddenly the room is just spinning again. It's just spinning and spinning. And I'm so confused and I'm like, why is this happening? I literally Googled like, can you overdose on weed? Why am I feeling this? First time smoking weed, what's going on? Is it bad to smoke weed while taking meds? All that stuff. Cause I was just so, I was scared. I was like texting all my friends. I was like, I just smoked weed. Like blah, 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 help. Like I don't know what to do. So yeah, I was freaked out, okay? We wake up and it's over, you know? And I'm like, okay, that was like really, it was freaky, you know? That was super freaky. And I wake up, I eventually went to go sleep on the floor in like the middle of the night. And I was like, wait, I woke up next to my friend's dog and stuff. So it was like chill, you know? I was charging my phone and stuff. And we all woke up and we were like, okay. And then suddenly I get really dizzy and like it's spinning again. And we were all like, yeah, I think we're all still high. So um, let's just go back to sleep. So we literally went back to sleep again. Finally woke up, we like laughed it off. Like that was so ridiculous. Ha ha, Victoria, you're so stupid. Like, why were you freaking out? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I have no idea. I was just, the room was spinning. Everything was spinning. I thought I was gonna die. 
my breath was like shaking. I was shaking. My lung, my lungs felt like they were gonna collapse. And when I went home, and that afternoon, I literally could still feel it. Like in the night when I tried to go to sleep, I was like spinning all over again and like I could feel every single fiber of fabric in my jacket and in my bed and it was so weird and I just couldn't stand it. I really hated it actually. But that lasted for only one more day and then it went away and I was finally like, okay, I don't know why that happened. And I told my sister and I was like, why did this happen? Cause like, you know, whatever, she's like a stoner. But I was like, why did this happen? Like blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, you know, you were just paranoid. So that's pretty much what it was. I was literally just freaking out because I was, it made me so anxious because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen to me. And I was just so paranoid that it kind of like freaked me out and freaked my body out. And like nothing bad was really happening. I was just super freaked out. And I honestly like, smoked way too much for my first time because I didn't know how much I needed to do. I didn't know anything, you know, like whatever. That was my first time, that was my experience. It's literally so completely different from how it is now. So completely different. Nothing like that happens. I don't even understand why that happened and it wasn't because of my meds. I tried telling my sister that and she was like, no, no, it wasn't because of her meds. So it wasn't because of my meds, but like, just so wild. And it made me never want to do it again, but you know, I did like three weeks after, but whatever, you know, it made me want to never do it again at the time. I was like, all right, I'm going to tell my mom I did this and just tell her how it made me feel and promise to never do it again. And you know, I didn't do that, but there's a first time for everything. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's just not fun the first time when you do it again, it's better. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it literally was for me. Whatever, that's like the only eventful thing that has ever happened in my life. Honestly, sometimes I wish that that would happen again because it was just super eventful. Like just remembering that it's something I'll always remember. And it was just so weird and crazy that I just remember it always, so. Thanks for paying attention to this stupid story that had so many flaws. I'm so bad at talking. If you actually watched it, then Thanks, you know, we cool, we homies. I literally have nothing else to say except to follow my Instagram because <laughs> gotta get that promo, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, follow my Instagram. Yeah, that's my at, at Toriozus. Well, I'm gonna end this video, so bye. It's Saturday night, have a good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you sometime. But yeah, bye.